Hello and welcome to another Forza Motorsport 7 video. Now we're back doing another BRS. This time around we are doing some B-Class showroom rally. So that means we're going racing with stuff like Lancias, Opel Mantas, Subarus, Mitsubishis and stuff like that. Now I enjoyed the racing quite a lot in this one uh, and I hope you enjoy watching this one as much as I enjoyed racing. So without further ado, enjoy. Okay, so we've arrived at Circuit de Catalunya GP Circuit, and the game has been kind to me. Um, seems to be a trend here in these BRSs sometimes. It's given me pole position in a Lancia 037. We're doing some showroom rally, as you can see we've got a variety of different rally cars that are obviously road legal. And we have a Stratos that is very quick in a straight line, I'm just going to let that go. You can see Louis there in the Alpine going around the outside quite easily. The Stratos is holding holding me and Louis up in the corner. It's actually holding everyone up as we've got a little bit collected. And I've lost a few positions. Well that's a great start to this race so far. Maybe been a bit maybe need to be a bit more cautious. Oh we have an escort going around the outside. Come on. Let's see if I can hold him off of him in the perfect position just to try and make him go the long way around. Get late on the brakes since here. I really don't like that line to having to take the tight line into that right hander as we come into the chicane here onto the final swooping corner. I've lost quite a few positions in uh, in that first lap. It was a bit chaotic with the uh, the Stratos leaping ahead and then kind of holding everyone up into the first sector. But uh, yeah, quite eventful. But let's see if we can uh, maybe make up a few more positions. But yeah, I've kind of opted out of taking an all-wheel drive car for B class. I kind of just think that rear-wheel drive is the best option to go for. Uh, so yeah, we'll see as we're just trying to get around the outside of this Gallant here. Uh, still side by side with him as we come into the chicane. He's turned right a little bit. I don't think he really knows that I'm still alongside him. Uh, trying to get, I'm actually getting forced out to the outside line. I'm still alongside that Gallant. Can I hold it onto the straight? I'm not sure. We're going to get kind of forced to the inside. Understeer a little bit out wide. A little bit of bumping. Not the cleanest of manoeuvres, but I think I have made it stick. I'm not sure if I will get troubled by that thing anytime soon. Alright, so now it's just uh, that Lancey up there driven by uh, driven by Lewis. Uh, he has tuned that way more for handling than I have. I checked in the lobby and uh, he has less speed and more handling than I do, so I will be able to catch him in this big start-finish straight that's coming up here. There is a Volvo ahead of that and then way, way ahead of that. You may be able to see him in the distance is Louis in the Alpine. I think he got a great start and just sort of shot off from there. So yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Alright, we are catching him towards the end of the start-finish straight, but it's not going to be enough to pull one side into the braking zone. He's going to have the best, the better handling coming into these corners here. I'm going to try and stay as close behind him as I can. It seems that Alpine, driven by Louis up there, has had a bit of a mistake or something, because he's, uh, he's slowed down a bit. Uh, the Volvo has caught up to him, uh, as we can see up there. Uh, I'm trying to stay as close to this Lancia as possible. If everything gets close enough then we may actually have a four car battle for the lead which could be uh, could be rather interesting but I don't really want to say anything just yet. <laughs> right, I'm trying to stay as planted to the back of Lewis's Lancia as I can as there is another straight uh, on the horizon around these next couple of corners. Let's see if I could maybe make a move into that uh, nasty hairpin, preferably up the inside of that corner. He's got a bit of a shonky run out of this corner, but as have I. <laughs> using a bit more... I mean, I'm using all of the track, but I am sort of sliding to the outside of the track, which isn't the ideal line. He's going to stick to that inside line, which is not what I wanted. I'm going to be forced to go around the outside, and it's not going to work. It's going to be... <laughs> he's going to keep that third place for now. And he's going to pull to the inside once again, make me go around the outside. Going to get, hopefully, quite late on the brakes. Maybe it turns out a bit too late there, overdriven myself a little bit. He's still... we're still pretty close though. Got one lap, actually no, two laps left, sorry. Um, as the sixth lap is a cooldown lap, as as, uh, as usual, in case you've not watched one of my BRS videos before. Lancia, uh, purple Lancia, slightly overdriven himself onto the grass there. Ran a little bit wide, and he's now got a very chunky run into this corner here. A little bit of contact, I can just feel a little bit of rubbing, I'm not sure. 
if uh, if I uh, slightly pushed him out wide or not. But I did get up the end and I have got the position slightly due to his uh, his little bit of a mistake coming out of that corner there. Right, as we come into the swooping chicane, might be able to gain some time through here. The car has been quite good through this sector. I usually don't like that corner very much, but I have built this car pretty good to go around that corner uh, with quite a lot of grip and speed. As we take a nice inside line through there, use all the track. The Alpine's made a bit of a mistake. The Volvo's got a lovely line. He's actually catching on the Alpine as he accelerates away from me on the straight. Don't think he's really going to be close enough to do anything to the Alpine into this first corner. Neither am I. I'm not really going to be getting any closer to the Volvo, or at least able to pull alongside as he gets a little bit of overshear in there, as we head into the final sector, come on, this is, this is it, on the final lap, will they be able to get second place at least from the Volvo, I'm not sure I would really like to, I've at least got a podium, uh, right now, which is, which is pretty good, come on, uh, hook to the back of that Volvo, get a nice inside line, may have jumped the track a little bit, got a bit of a wonky line, on the grass, and I think, I think the Volvo also got a bit of a wonky line through there. I tried everything to get past that thing. However, it's not going to be enough. The Alpine's going to win. Uh, the Volvo takes second, and me in the Lancia, <laughs> third place, <laughs> and a very spectacular finish back there as well. Uh, as we begin, we are uh, further down the pack. We're starting eight. Uh, 8 out of 10 people. Not starting first this time as we did previous race. I'm going to get on the brakes a little bit early and don't want to cause a bit of an accident. That wouldn't be uh, that would be ideal. Um, but yeah, I'm sticking with the with the 037. I have built another car for this week. Not sure if I will uh, if I will go for it. Um, I have looked at the track list and all of the tracks seem more fitting to uh, to this car uh, rather than the Alpine. We're currently in last place right now. I have driven a little bit cautiously so far. Going we'll to try and send out the inside of that Mitsubishi all over the place on the curb, slightly ran out wide as well, as we've got two escorts going side by side, uh, Muggs is uh, accelerating away a little bit there. Right, trying to go around the outside of that Subaru, we are leading a fairly sizable pack right now at the back of the race. Right, getting a little bit late on the brakes here, or at least later than that Lancia up ahead. The Subaru coming up close in the rear view mirror. So I've got someone up ahead that I'm trying to overtake and someone behind me that's frantically trying to get past me into most of the big braking zones. This could be quite interesting. <laughs> not too sure. It does have very small tyres by the looks of things, so I'm not too sure. It could still be all-wheel drive, uh, thanks to that. It looks like it's running on bicycle tyres. It's <laughs> the width of the tyres are absolutely tiny. No, this is a this is a good braking zone. I think the Subaru is a little bit too far back to really do anything to be here. He's getting a good braking line into there though, or a good braking point into there. I've made a dive on the Delta. Going to leave him room on the inside of the corner. I'm going to swoop her on the outside. I'm not sure if it will be enough to make the overtake stick because this straight is quite large. Is he going to at least draw alongside before the big braking zone for the hairpin? I think he might do. The Subaru actually might be in a prime position to make, or to capitalise on any little mistakes that we make here, if we do make any. I'm going to run a little bit wide over the Astro Turf a little bit, make sure I don't clatter anyone else's car. And we've got a bit of an interesting situation, the Delta is accelerating past the, the 22 gap. I'm going to give him room on the inside, use as much of the track as possible. Get nice into the braking zone. Come on. Okay, they've clattered a little bit, clattered doors a little bit in the back row in there. This is, this is rather eventful, uh, but I think we might have made the overtake stick. The Lancia got a bit caught up with the, with the Subaru there, I believe, in the background, and I think that has uh, allowed me to run away a small bit as we're catching up once again to Lewis in the purple 037 and the fairly large pack that's up here. You can see the uh, the 205 Persia with the almighty wing on the back, the Hellclimb wing, Hellclimb body kit. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we fare here. I don't think I really want to make it three wide going into here. <laughs> I mean, I think there's the room to do it, but I don't really want to do it into the braking zone. I'm going to leave them room. The Persia's getting very sideways. I think it's actually lifting a front wheel up through there. Not got a very good run out of there. I might be able to maybe at least pull alongside into the braking zone. We'll see. Right, into the hairpin. 
I'm gonna get I'm gonna be fairly conservative on the brakes, just wait for someone to make a mistake, get to the inside line. The purge has gone very, very wide indeed. However, I got I maybe turned in a bit too early. Uh, way too early in fact. <laughs> it went on the grass and the purge got actually a pretty good run. I believe it is four wheel drive, that's how it's accelerating so fast. And obviously and uh, again it has piddly tires, so I assume he's uh, all wheel drive. Peugeot is, I think, again, once again, <laughs> lifting a front wheel up through there. Looks a little bit leery to drive. Um, maybe it's that wing producing so much downforce it literally can't stay on the ground. Right, we're up the inside, or at least trying to be up the inside, coming through the stadium sector. Let's see if we can maybe make a move work around the outside. Getting close to him. Trying to get the grip to work around the outside. It's not going to, though. I'm going to have to duck back underneath. Just getting on two wheels through that car, he's really not got a great run out of there. I'm gonna get the run when I'm done to this corner here. This is a nice breaking zone for getting overtakes done. I've done many a dive on my channel uh, on this corner before. I'm not sure this is this uh, this is gonna be one of them or one of the more successful ones, as he is gonna swoop around the outside and nicely drift to the outside. He's actually gonna keep the position quite nicely. However, I have got the run on him on the straight here. Come on, Lancia. Right, we're braking, we're stuck on the outside. Is the Persia going to go for a lunge? No, he's going to keep it nice. He's going to keep it nice uh, and tight to the inside, actually, and he's going to get a brilliant run. I was leaving him as much room as possible, scared that he would get late on the brakes, but he actually got very nicely on the brakes. Drifting through this fast corner. Maybe I can make a dive on him here. He's left me some room. I'm going to turn in nice and early, leave him some room on the, uh, room on the outside, because I know that thing can accelerate pretty fast. Alright, the uh, as you may be able to see in the rearview mirror, the uh, the black 22B is actually coming back into the action. He's trying to go around the outside, around the outside of that Peugeot, and he is actually making the move work. I'm a bit all over the place trying to watch the battle in the rearview mirror. Maybe not the smartest idea when I'm trying to race, but oh well. <laughs> okay, that Subaru has indeed got past the Peugeot uh, through the stadium section and through the last couple of corners. Question is, as we come into the final lap, would I be able to catch up to uh, to third up there? I don't think so. I think there's more of a chance of that server catching me. Uh, as we saw in the beginning stages of the race, it's very, very good under braking and I think through the corners as well. So I'm going to actually leave him room here um, into this corner. He's going to close up that gap uh, quite considerably. And he's actually going to really reel me in through here. This car does does handle like it's on rails most of the time, but that Subaru seems to get <laughs> seems to be able to get on the brakes incredibly early, and is actually pulling me in on the straight. This could be pretty close as we get into the hairpin. I'm going to try and brake as late as I can. Maybe messed up that downshift a little bit. He's going to get very nicely on the brakes. I'm going to try and follow him through. He's actually made a very nice move there. Very nice. Okay. Now it's a question of, as we come into uh, the final couple of sectors, can I can I get in that position back? He's going to get very nice on the brakes once again. That is a great car, as it seems, through the corners, and actually most places, as he was reeling me in through the straight. Right, as we come into the stadium sector, he's got a little bit of oversteer, a little bit of grip loss, I think, through the fast uh, right-hander. I don't think I'm really going to be able to outbreak him here, although he has outbreaked himself a little bit into there. Come on, maybe a little bit late on the accelerator there. Uh, my only chance is going to be through here, and I don't like going for dives down here. Usually don't trust myself into here, the way the corner tightens is rather awkward for making dives. But this corner, if you leave a door open, it's quite easy to slip up the inside, but it's not going to work. He's going to keep fourth place, I'm going to keep fifth. And it was a very, very good race actually, with a couple of nice battles thrown in for good measure. The Peugeot put up a good fight. Uh, the Subaru put up a brilliant fight for fourth place, and he shall take fourth place. Um, so yeah, that was a great race. Um, so yeah, very much enjoying myself.